So here we have glenohumeral joint cars or shoulder cars, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that when we're going through, we're keeping the hips forward and also the sternum forward. We don't wanna be rotating through the spine to fake extension, okay? Also, we want the shoulder blade out of the ear, constantly back, okay? So first, I'm gonna tuck my tailbone, I'm gonna get up nice and tall. I like to have a hand on my diaphragm or my sternum to make sure that I'm not rotating. First thing, take that deep breath in. We're gonna trap the air low. I'm gonna bring my arm up into flexion. As I come up, as much as I can to flexion, I'm gonna slightly let the arm start falling away from the body. And as I do that, I wanna internally rotate. So my thumb will go toward inside, elbow crease will disappear towards inside, and I'm rotating all the way through. I reach a spot where it feels like I can't rotate anymore. I continually try to rotate more. It's like wringing out a towel. I'm gonna come back, pulling my shoulder blade into the back pocket as I externally rotate and come all the way through the circle. Back, up. Now it's very important here on the internal rotation that you're not just flipping the wrist, right? You wanna make sure that that elbow crease goes internal and that the knuckles end up by the thigh. And that will reverse all the way through. And again, if there's areas that are really hard, like this right here, I want you to drop, don't do that. Get tight in the core, hold, fight through there and start building awareness. Rotation sends the most amount of sensory information to the brain. That's why cars are so important through the rotation piece. So we wanna be rotating as much as we can, okay? Because that's the thing that we don't do.